Hey everybody and welcome to another video and in this one we are trying aircraft carrier survival. So from what I've seen on Steam this looks quite similar to a game called U-Boat which is like a, a German World War 2 simulator where you effectively micromanage your crew to do certain tasks and you combine them all together when shit really hits the fan and you have to then start launching torpedoes and crash diving etc etc. This looks kind of similar but instead of on a U-boat underwater we are on the surface looking after an aircraft carrier. So I've literally not played this game at all so we are going to... we don't want to skip the tutorial no we want to learn how to play this. Right then come on then Oh yeah, hang on, here we go. There we go, Captain Birdseye. Definitely a Seamaster. Hard work is what keeps the ship moving. Hard work is what keeps the ship moving. Right. Hard work is what keeps the ship moving. Definitely voice one. Right, what face, hang on. Oh, hang on a minute, the portrait there, hang on, I need to make this guy look like that. He needs to look old and raggedy. Okay, that's kind of fine. Hair, right, here we go. Don't, that's not just, okay, I thought that was just going to change hair colour. No, I need... Okay, there we go, there's the hat. What accessories can we have? We need a pipe. No, we don't want no eye patches. These are all, are these just all glasses? Okay. What about accessory two? Okay, there, yeah. So we can't have facial hair? That's massively disappointing. I need whites, yeah, there we go. Trousers two, there we go. Well, that's about as close as we can get him to Captain Bird's eye because we can't give him, if we could give him a beard, then we're just about there, I think. But for some reason, unless I haven't, I haven't missed it, no, we can't give him a bit. Okay, well, there we go. Maybe the portrait is like this guy Welcome in 30 years' Park. time. This one will allow you to manage a specific aspect of your strike group. I mean, these don't look much like aircraft carriers. These look like, I don't know, tankers of some description. They're certainly not battle vessels or attack vessels. That... I mean, is that must be an aircraft carrier under construction because I don't know too many aircraft carriers that have MDF as a runway. So I'm assuming that one's under construction. So my guess is our one is over there. Yes, with all the planes on it. That would be my guess. What's this then? Oh, that's your escort. Okay, so you can pick ships to escort you. Right, so... Right. The crew is the heart and soul of the aircraft carrier. In the full version of the game, you will be able to upgrade both your crew members and officers on this screen. The amount of crew slots on the ship can be upgraded here, sir. Doing so will increase the number of crew members on the carrier. So does this mean I can't do it in the demo? Because this is effectively a demo. This is a prologue. The full game doesn't come out for a little while yet. Their okay. Choose an upgrade. So we can't buy any new ones. So there's our Captain Bird's Eye. Looks like Tom Cruise is along for the ride as well. So, okay, what happens? Can I not find out any details on these guys? Upgrade. All right, so I can... If I click him, I can upgrade him. Deck in DC. Grants additional efficiency when assigned to the deck and damage control department. Team player grants additional ef efficiency when assigned to a... I can't even read. Grants additional efficiency when assigned to a department in which all the slots are filled. So why can't I up... Why am I not getting the same options for anybody else? Is that because all of these are like... These buys have already been upgraded, I'm assuming. Okay, right. And now I'm getting different options. I'm getting different options every time I click on them. And you can do deck... You can do medical. They are already air. Okay, whatever, that'll do. Upgrade. There we go, we've got some more slots. Okay, well, we've got more crew, but we don't. It's really look like we can do a lot with them. I can't right click on them, I can't left click on any of them. Okay, so we've got four squadrons plus one plus one. 
entirely sure what that means. Uh, you can also upgrade each of your aircraft models, improving their efficiency in battle. Difficult to know. I would, if I had to hazard a guess, I'd say these larger ones here will probably be the torpedo bombers. Because those torpedoes will be very, very heavy, so you'll need bigger planes to fly them. I'm just using logic here. I'm not, and nothing else. No knowledge of such this at all. Middle one, probably the dive bombers, and the far one is probably the fighters. That would be my guess. Oh, look. Look at that. Torpedoes are upgraded. Survivability plus 15%. Which is good because those guys have to get in close. I mean, dive bombers are coming in from up high and down, but the torpedo bombers have to fly quite close to the ocean, uh, the surface, the water surface, in order to drop those torpedoes so that they don't explode the second they're dropped into the water. Okay. On this screen, you okay. The Japanese Imperial Navy has begun an operation to cut off our allies. Port Moresby and the islands near Tulagi are key strategic points in the Coral Sea. Without them, providing support to Australia and New Zealand will be nearly impossible. We must interrupt the Japanese plans at all cost. Our intelligence intercepted a message with the exact date and location of the invasion, but have yet to confirm their path. Your task is to destroy the invasion fleet headed for Port Moresby. So, objective, prevent Japan's advancement before they reach the shores of New Guinea. Our goal is to sink the majority of ships from the invasion fleet and disengage before their reinforcements arrive. This is an easy mission, apparently, and will give us one upgrade point if we complete it. I hope the tutorial extends into the actual game. We have reached the Coral Sea, Admiral. The last scouting report confirmed. The enemy invasion fleet progressing as expected. They will approach from here. Here, or straight through this location. We can count on continuous support from land-based Australian scouts. Our recon has identified two harmless fleets in the area. No aircraft carriers were spotted. As a reminder, our main objective is to defend Port Moresby. Based on the CIC analysis, the optimal position to launch an airstrike against the invasion fleet is from Zone G7. Okay. Right, invasion time. 48 hours. Whenever you want to find out how to operate certain functions, just press the help button. A different tutorial will be displayed depending on what you're doing. Okay, that's useful. The deck is where you will control plane deployment and recovery. Adding orders to the deck is done from the deck view. If you want to add a squadron, click on the empty squadron slot and choose a squadron type. The maximum number of squadrons on deck depends on the amount of crew units assigned to the air department in the crew management panel. If you want to remove a squadron from the deck, hold it and direct it to the plane elevator. You can reposition squadrons on the deck in the same way. In order to start a mission from the deck, you must fulfill all of the requirements. The deck must be in launching state. It must be daytime. All squadrons required for the mission must be present on the deck. The weather must be optimal, and the deck must lot be of, operational. A uh, lot of things to check off here. No wrecks on the deck. Click this button to display the deck panel. Where are we? Unknown object. Okay, our fleet is here. G7 is there. Okay, so how do we how do we go over there then? This is the tactical map. There's going to be a lot of this, I fear. Here. Okay. So here then, so we click on. So if we go into the storm then, and then head there like that. There we go. So that should. Doing in a free cam. Okay, there you go. So we can click on the side. Okay, this is this is pretty cool. So we can see the inner. You know, I don't like the way you scroll through. It's very sensitive. Right. So we'll be in a launching state. So do we want to go and find out perhaps what that is there? Let's go and let's send off some people. So we do this. So what do we do? Issue a fighter squadron on the deck. 
Okay, so... Here they come. Fucking hell, look at them. They're pushing them well fast. That is one rapid elevator. Right, push them into into position. Okay, so now uh, so we're in launching phase. That's not what I meant. What's that? We'll go a bit faster. Air department, navigation, medical, anti-aircraft guns, yeah, okay, whatever. That's our fleet. What's this? Oh, this, okay. This just goes through this. So, so now then. So, not enough planes. All right, to do a scouting mission, we need, we need another set of fighters on the deck. I think is what that is suggesting. I oh, there's an island bit up here with some people in it all. Oh, what have I just done? I've sent Captain Birdseye up here for, to do what? So, number one, number one through four actually changes stuff. So, do we have to like? Do we have to basically learn or? Almost research certain mission types. I don't know. I don't know. Right. Um, sections. So we need another set of fighter planes on the deck. Can we see them doing stuff under here? Oh, we can. We can see them moving, moving planes around. That's pretty cool. It's the free cam again. So they are now going to position. We're in launching mode, as we know. So let's do this. Scouting. Launch. Start engines. No, we want to watch. We want to watch them take off. God, they don't need much of a run up, do they? Don't crash. Okay. Enemy scouting party is underway. Send this mission to intercept them in order to remain undetected. Okay, I clicked a button. A squadrons. Oh, we're missing squadrons. Okay. Not getting used to this uh, fighter planes. Fighter planes. Oh, this is, is there a scout literally circling us now? Oh my god, it destroys the submarines. Oh boy. Okay, we have counter hostile scouts. Have we got... We need these planes. Hurry up. Okay, right. So they're getting going. Come on, come on, come on, come on. So you boys crack on. We need to try and deal with these scouts. <laughs> Literally need no... You've got the entire runway here and they choose... Oh, I don't know, maybe... Is that what it was like? But that doesn't look like anywhere near enough space. Right, this mission is about to finish. Please tell me that when it gets to zero, the escort is under attack. Enemy scouts. Okay, that was rubbish. I wanted to see some stuff. Right. Apparently. Holy moly! Right. We're going to go into launch mode. Fighters! Fighters! 
Fighters. Fighters. Potential problem with what I've just done is that we've only got an hour and 20 minutes before my planes need to uh, to come back. I will launch both of those because it needs four sets of planes. And then after that, we need to get into recovery mode a bit lively. God, are we going to get... I'm not sure we're going to get all of this done. I, <laughs> I think those planes are trying to come back. Captain Birdseye, what are you doing? I'm presuming that you need... Because they'll, they'll land on this side. I would, unless they land on the other side, I don't know. But 50, 50 minutes, 50 in-game minutes. But we need to get these fighters up in the air. To help provide cover. I mean, it says eight of their planes. That looks like more than eight to me. Oh, it's attack strength eight, okay. Right, get launching. Come on, start pushing. Don't wait for them. Start pushing forward. <laughs> this is going to be so tight. We're cutting this so fine. Can we get some more crew, actually, on the... Uh, get off the fucking AA guns. Get in there. Oh my god, 15 minutes. Okay, right, he's pushing, he's pushing. Okay, we might get away with this. We might, might, might just get away with this. I don't know what side they're going to land on. It makes sense that they're going to land on, on that side. I don't know. Okay, right, they're done. Retrieval. Can we retrieve them now? Retrieve. So where do they land? Do they land the other side? It sounds like they're coming from my right. Oh yes, they did. There we go. Right. What are they going to do? Are they going to push them downstairs? I don't really want them on the deck, if I'm being brutally honest. How do we not? Escort carrier is locked. You should choose a plane squadron and replace two squadrons with this type of the character. You should send DC teams to pump it out. Who's taking water? What we are? We We can't even pause this game. Where are we taking on water? Oh, there. There we go. They are, are they doing anything? Is my damage control people doing anything? We may need them to go back on the guns. Damage in sections report. Yes, I know it is, but I don't know if my team will actually do anything. Click to toggle malfunction repair. I don't know if that, like, everything's just sinking and my guys are not doing anything. Click to toggle deflooding. Yeah, I'd love to. There's no visible evidence of anybody actually trying to do any work to stop the flooding sir one of the landing planes has crashed on deck you excellent use damage control to push it into the water it's literally just fallen out of the sky you can leave your DC teams in one of two key sections in order to prevent damage from getting out of hand 
Leaving a DC team in any room in the pump section will pump out water of all flooded rooms down to a certain level. Right, okay, so we've got to get them in the pump. We've got to get one team in the pump room. Section ...will greatly reduce the spread of all malfunctions. Damage control buttons can help with floods and malfunctions. Go to Island View and assign an officer to the radio room. You can set which two DC buttons you want active at the time. Pump buttons are active only when there is a DC team in the pump section. Click on the button and then click on a flooded section in order to quickly pump out all the water. Maintenance buttons are only active when a DC team is in the maintenance section. Right, click so that's why neither of those two buttons are doing anything. Section in order to quickly fix the problem. Right. So you... On our way. Yes, sir. Go into the pump room. I don't think any of these guys actually need to be here. Yeah, we're pumping, we're pumping, we're pumping. Is that team... I mean, they're trying to repair. I don't want you to repair. I want you to go and push this damn plane. Oh, yeah, they did. They did. They pushed it off us. I saw it get be pushed. So the 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 Admiralty guys. So when I move Captain Birdseye into that other room, effectively it's like a boost. So it just gives me another damage control unit. I could have gone. I could have done this with the two. I just had them in the wrong rooms, which I didn't know. The carrier is being attacked by a submarine. Submarine hunt. We need to. Uh, right, hang on. We lose. Carrier is under attack. I'm aware of this. Can we? Can he go straight down, please? Lovely, 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 lovely. We've got nothing on deck. Admiral, we're taking water. You should send DC teams to pump it out. There are more planes coming in. Straight down below deck, please. Please take them straight down below. Please take them straight down below. Lovely, lovely, lovely. <laughs> Look at all these alerts up here. Carry it under attack from these guys. Because apparently my fighters did absolutely nothing. We're trying to prevent them. Yes. Admiral, we're taking water. You should send DC teams to pump it out. Right, did they go down? So we now need to go into launch mode. And now we need... Uh, um, 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 how do we, I can't remember how we get things on deck. There we go. So we need two, two dive bombers to come up. Right. So... Now we need fighter, fighter, four fighter planes, please. You can get involved and, and help out. I don't see any running around moving. I don't see any hustle people. How do we do it so airstrike mission is not activated on the island? That's our flea. Recon, recon. So we can't do a preemptive strike. Issue a fighter squadron on the deck. Let's go. Insufficient crew in navigation department. Repairing, well, here we go, repairing fight. Oh, no! That's so unintuitive! Time to work. We'll lose the damage control. Stand by to start engine. So, alright, so the buff stays, you just have to move the officers around to actually do the, uh... Deck weather information, boost efficiency in deck and damage control. Right, we need an add. We need that one, don't we? So, yes, you. Sir. All right, whatever. You can go in there. We can add a airstrike mission. It's just a little briefing. Yeah, pilot briefing. Okay, right there we go. Identify targets mission. 
Repairing fighters. Mission report. The enemy submarines have been destroyed. So, use this mission to attack enemy fleets and bases. Choose a target and prepare. 